what I would do uh, during often during during the clear nights after my parents were in bed and, and my my family was in bed, we had a trampoline in our backyard. So I would go s just lay on the trampoline and just look up at the stars, and uh, and that was very inspiring to me about wondering, you know, well, what's this all about? Uh, uh, what's how can I understand this better? Although there have been previous discoveries of Earth-sized planets from Kepler, and there have been previous discoveries of planets in the habitable zone from Kepler and other places, uh, this is the first time when we've put the two together. The discovery that came out last week, it is a, a system of five planets. Four of those uh, planets were already known from a previous discovery. But the thing that's really interesting about the system of five planets is that uh, all five of them are between one and one and a half Earth radii, which means that they're all terrestrial. They're, they're all rocky planets, as we understand rocky planets from our own solar system. What we are trying to do, and I say we as though I'm talking about astronomers, but, but I would argue it's much more broad than that. I would say we as a human civilization. What we're trying to do is answer some some pretty important questions that have been around for thousands of years. Uh, there have been various people throughout human uh, uh, history, uh, such as Socrates and, and uh, Bruno and so on, who have asked these questions about whether there could be life on other planets. And now we are at a pretty unique point in human history where this, the means to answer these questions has it, is suddenly available to us and so we're trying to uh, now answer some of these questions uh, the the main question we want to get to the answer to of course is is there life elsewhere in the universe